Today looking at a 2009 Cadillac DTS. Um, seems to have a uh, warning that comes up that says you have low engine oil and to shut the motor off immediately. And so uh, this has actually never happened to me. Uh, happened three times to my wife. Um, and so it was finally time to look at it. Apparently these things have a problem with a sensor that's down by the oil filter. And so the oil filter, this is the oil filter adapter here. This goes on here, obviously. And uh, here's the sensor that is problematic. And in this sensor, it seems to, the seal seems to break and you get oil inside here. And so it, it starts sending faulty signals. Um, that can be kind of uh, uh, nerve-wracking when you have no gauges. So uh, being resourceful, we decided to get a, uh, an app that would uh, talk to the little OBD2 dongle. And strangely enough is that app didn't even have a function to check the uh, oil pressure. You have to do a workaround and create your own to get it. Um, this was, was up in the Bay Area, and we live three hours from the Bay Area. Went up and got it, drove it down. Um, no gauges, no warning went off. The motor sounded perfectly fine. All the temperatures were fine. We used a temperature probe, and they were fine. Um, got it down, and it was a real pain to get this thing out. And so... Uh, Gonna change the sensor, put it back in, see if that fixes it. Uh, if not, it'll be a wiring issue or something like that. Um, it did create some anxiety for my, my wife. And uh, I would much rather be working on an old tractor or welder or something like that than working on this. Um, these, these things are hard to work on. They're very, very temperamental and uh, they create a, a tremendous amount of stress. Um, and sometimes they, like this one did, they send the wrong signals. There's uh, something in our lives that's a lot like that. It's called worry and anxiety. And it can get the best of us if we're not careful. Um, our world seems to promote it and the more that things go on, the more we seem to have these false warnings about things. The Bible talks about uh, fretting not in Psalms 37. It speaks about it repeatedly. When you look around at uh, all the things of uh, the world, it's, there's a tendency to worry a lot. Jesus talks about it on the Sermon on the Mound. He says, man, look at the flowers. I take care of them. Look at the birds. You can hear them in the background. I feed them. Don't worry about these things. And yet it will creep up and we don't know where it comes from sometimes, and uh, it'll get the best of us. And before we know it, we think that uh, the sky's falling. Anxiety can be a whole lot like uh, this sensor, is it, it can give us wrong readings. Be careful who you trust. Be careful what you put your faith in. If it's in this world, you're going to be disappointed. There's going to be a lot of anxiety. If it's in the Lord, you can rest easy. So anyway, thank you for your time, and uh, hopefully you're not working on stuff like this. Hopefully you're doing uh, much more enjoyable things, maybe an old tractor, uh, maybe a SA-200. Um, whatever you do, walk with the Lord. God bless.